with this lesson what I want to do is um, just show you how to do a window above a window in the previous lesson where we put the windows in if you remember I put an 0606 fixed window in the center of the dining room so what I want to do is I just basically come out and I'm going to put a camera place a camera on the outside so that we'll pick a point there drag the target over to the window so that you can see the window in the wall now in the an earlier lesson with our building locations if you remember we we went through and we set up our floor levels and head heights and wall heights this head height is what's important with a window and an opening that 2125 is where the window is placed in the wall so if I touch this window and right click one of the options I have is to elevate a window. If I select that off my menu, you will notice there is the 2125 for my location. So I could say, OK, I want this window to be 1400 head height. Then if I hit OK, notice the wall just dropped down, the window just dropped down in the wall. It can go up if it was on a staircase or something like that. Now if I come back to my 2D plan view, and let's just zoom in around that win that um, room I can then come to my fixed window again and come directly above it see it's coming across and I'll just put it directly in over the top of it and right click center on the wall and there you have it right click and finish go back to that camera so just drop your list down beside the 3d camera view and you can see camera one and there you have it I've got a window above a window all right what I might do now is just sort of um, with this window here, this 120912, which is in the ensuite, let's say for instance we want that change. So you can click on the window, right click and go replace. And being an, ens an ensuite might be a bit fancier than the normal room, we might go for a louver window, an 1806. And as you can see, the louver window replaced the, 12, um, the 0912 window and now I have a louver window in place. With louvers, if I touch it, you can see when I don't touch it, it's just clear glass. That's why you're not seeing the lines of the individual louvers. But if I touch the window, you can then see the line. If when you're going to do your elevations on your working drawing sheets, then basically you'd be in what we call a hidden line mode, which is similar to this. If I touch that, you can then see there's the louvers okay so we're when we're in a 3d view we tend to be in this rendered view where you're basically glass is glass and you're seeing through it so that's what that is all right so that's how you get a, a window above a window and you can elevate that up wherever you want to let's just for instance let's say this uh, ensuite window was going to go up into the next story so basically I can go and elevate that and I could take that up to say 3600 head height and watch what will happen see how it's poking up through the top of the wall so therefore if your top story was there it would just go around go into that wall as well okay so it's all very easy to use so I've just undone that and just dropped it back down so hopefully that'll be of assistance knowing how to do a window above a window that's all for this lesson thank you